Hey friends, it's Tawny and Luke, and today we're going to be doing a clean with me in our RV video. As you can see, our RV is super messy. We finished our RV reno, and in the process, it got quite messy in here, and it was very neglected. We also were planning on making this clean with me video, so we let it get extra, extra messy so that it would be extra satisfying when we went to clean it. So as you can see, it's super messy. And and be sure to go watch our RV tour. That's why we were really doing a deep clean. We cleaned the house and then we did our tour the very next day. So check out this tour um, at the link. We will put that in the description and we'll also put it on a card here. So go check that out. We've never done a video like this, so if you like it, be sure to give us a like on the video and let us know in the comments what you think of our little cleaning with me video. And we hope it gives you some inspiration, some motivation for cleaning. Um, we've never done anything like this before, but I've seen some clean with me's on YouTube and I thought they were kind of fun and satisfying to watch. So I thought we'd try doing one here in the RV. We filmed this video over about four days, and at the end of the video, a couple days later, but Luke is going to be cleaning the outside of the RV, and it's super satisfying because it's nice and dirty, and he gives it a really nice scrub and a bath. So stay tuned for that at the end of the video. One advantage of living in an RV is that it's so easy to clean the whole house in like 30 minutes to one hour, but it's also a big disadvantage because it gets dirty super fast too. Like if we don't do the dishes after one meal, they pile way up. So our house can look like we haven't cleaned in like weeks, even though it's actually only been like a day or two since we've cleaned. So there's definitely advantages and disadvantages to living in a tiny home. But one of the advantages is that you can clean it super fast. So we're doing pretty much a deep cleaning here. As you can see here, there are boxes of our lighting stuff. Luke was just finishing up putting in the lighting, I think earlier that day. So there's the boxes from Amazon <laughs> that we had all of our lighting in and we finally are getting them cleared out of the house. That's one of the things, every time we get packages, we have to open them up, put the stuff away and get rid of the boxes ASAP or our kitten plays with them. I love having glass tabletops, but as you can see here, they get really dirty pretty fast, and especially with having a kitten that climbs all over the house, we have little kitten footprints like everywhere, so I've wiped that clean. And the cloth that I'm using is a Norwex window cloth. All you do is add some water and it's magic. It's magical how clean it gets it and that's also we're using the Norwex Enviro cloths that I've had for years. I just am using those with some water and wiping down our surfaces. We don't have a normal vacuum. This is our little shop vac that we've been using and it works really good at getting all the messes cleaned up. It doesn't have a super long cord, but we make it work. And this is the best way of deep cleaning like our carpets and our floor and especially our kitty litter that gets all over the place. But we love having a shop vac. In Florida it feels like every two seconds we have sand all over the place and like being at a campground too we're walking in and out and there's sand in the soil always so every time we come in the house like we try to be no shoes in the house people but 
it doesn't always work. So we tend to have sand pretty much everywhere in the house, so it needs swept or shot back so often. he is vacuuming I'm going ahead and putting away all of the dishes so that I can get started on washing it is something that we're really bad at doing like we pretty much always have this dish drainer and dish pad underneath and we're like constantly having dishes sitting on our counter we don't put them away enough I like we tend to not be a put them away right away or like dry them to put them away so Luke is actually pouring out the little shards from our little cardboard cat scratching post thing and that that gets all over the place so we actually got rid of that scratching post after this video and we put in a new one that's in our RV tour video if you're interested in seeing what we replace it with but that has made it so much cleaner in here because we're already dealing with litter right here and having those little cardboard things also on the floor all the time all over my house were so annoying but this is so much better I don't know if you caught it, I went pretty fast, but I went and I showed our little, our dish soap from Public Goods, I'm showing it right here, so that I'm gonna link below if you're interested, and it's refillable, which is nice and helps with sustainability. And then I'm gonna go grab a dish rag, so that is also from Norwex, and it's like $11, and it's such a weird little dish rag that you wouldn't think would clean your dishes, but I love it, it does an amazing job. So my strategy for washing dishes is I will put on gloves and I will soap up my little dish rag and I will wash a bunch of dishes. I love having double sinks, it really really helps. I just wash a bunch until the sink gets full and then I turn the water back on and rinse a bunch and put them up on the thing and then I repeat that because I don't like to leave the water running while I'm working. A because I'm kind of into being more eco-friendly and also because it fills up our tanks really fast if you leave the water just running it'll fill up your gray tank and you have to drain it more often so I really like to just turn on water turn it off turn it on or turn it off we also lived in Honduras for about 10 months last year so I like to it's like in my brain too from being there so long and washing dishes there and stuff and taking showers just we had to conserve water, so it's just a smart practice to have in life, I think, so I like to do that when I'm washing my dishes.
So this literally looks like dishes piled up from like weeks, but I'm telling you, this is only like two or three days worth of dishes. It piles up so fast. I actually don't even finish doing all the dishes. Today, I come back later in the video and I'm gonna finish up again. Oh, we have a cat, obviously, and she likes to climb everywhere. And of course, we bought this black chair before we got a kitten, so <laughs> yeah. We probably, I probably wouldn't have made that decision if I had known we were gonna have a kitten, but then a kitten came into our life. She just wandered up to our door and we took her in. So yeah, this thing gets covered in cat hair, but it's really satisfying when he goes and takes the shop back to it and gets all of those cat hairs off and all the crumbs and everything. So I came back to the kitchen and I'm doing more dishes and what I actually have to do because I run out of space whenever I've done I've waited too long to do dishes is I literally have to wipe down the stove and use that as more of a dish draining rack. So I like to sweep all my crumbs to the ground and then sweep later. There I am taking my Enviro cloth from Norwax and wiping everything down so it's super clean and then I'm actually going to use this as overflow for my dishes and so I can work in my space a little bit better I'm moving it out of my way. I don't know about you, but we go through a lot of water every day. We drink like two or three containers we take with us to work each, and I like to clean them every once in a while with a bottle brush I grabbed, and that's helped me out so much. I mostly just rinse, but sometimes we forget a while, like for a while, to put the lids, take the lids off and let them air out so they kind of get a little bit musty. So I really did like a deep clean here and went through and clean them with a bottle brush so they'd be nice and fresh.
So here I am scooping the litter box. Not the best job in the world and we don't do it enough for sure, but we actually ended up changing litters after this. I don't end up keeping this bag in there and that same litter. We've actually switched to like a cedar litter now, which works really, really nice and it the smell is so much better. But yeah, I'm scooping, so much scooping. And of course, who else's cat literally watches them scoop their litter box? Like if they do, comment down below because it's so silly. She watches and then once it's finally all clean, she's like, mm, I gotta go to the bathroom. She's so weird. Here is our bedroom. It, of course, was also very, very messy. Our laundry was piling up and the bed's not made here and it just really needed a clean. So uh, this is the next day. We cleaned that whole outer place and then I think we were dead and we had some other things we needed to do. So we decided to come in and clean in the bedroom the next day. This little cubby I was not using very effectively and yeah, it just really needed a good clean. So it doesn't take very long at all to clean the bedroom. Something that drives me insane, and you might have just seen it happen, but my kitten goes in our closet and wrecks havoc in there. Like, I have no idea what she's doing in there. She ruins my clothes and stuff, so I'm always trying to keep her out. See, she just came out, that little devil. So I try not to let the closet be open at all because she goes in there. See, I just closed it because she goes in there and drives me insane. It's actually hard to keep this comforter clean with having a kitten that we let come in here. And I feel bad if we close the door, there's like barely any house she could go in. So we do let her come in here, but her dirty little paws come in and make our comforter not as clean and nice anymore. So I'm making the bed so that I can pull the clothes up and be able to sort through them to make sure things are actually dirty before we go take them. And I'm taking this little basket out and I end up putting it back in the outer room. I'm pulling some cords out of the bag there because I work on my laptop in bed and then there's no like side tables or anything to put things down on so I like will put my laptop down on the ground and the cords will end up in the hamper which is not very safe. There's definitely a chance of my cords breaking and stuff doing that. So we actually don't use this washer and dryer, but I do keep my stuff up there for washing and drying. We just have a laundry room here at the camp we live at that is easy to walk to and it's bigger washing machine and stuff, so it's a lot easier to just use that. And you can see there's some leftover stuff from our reno here in the room, like there was paint in there and then you can see our wallpaper on the floor that we need to take care of. So there I am going through um, my box of stuff from Trades of Hope Inspire. That was a little virtual conference that we had done. That's my partner company I work with that are Fair Trade. You can check them out. I'll actually link that unboxing that I did here where I talk all about what that is and what all the stuff in here was. But I want to make sure I didn't forget anything when I was throwing it out. I definitely tend to try to like fight against my urge to hold on to things. So I had to 
really forced myself to go through this box and not keep anything I didn't need so I went through it and as you can see my kitten's playing with it right now this is why I can't keep stuff around but I'm putting all my jewelry in the little bags and then I'm gonna go take that into my little where I've been keeping my trades of hope stuff as best as I can I painted this bottom part of our shower, so I was taking off my tape here. I totally should have done it before then, but hey, I didn't have a, I couldn't even get to it barely, so that worked. So here I'm using some bathroom cleaner from Public Goods. I'll link it below. It's like all natural. And here's some like toilet bowl cleaner that came in our RV, so I've just been using it up. Not very natural, but it's the only thing that really gets the job done. And then I have a squatty potty in here, so I try to spray that down and clean it every once in a while. I'm also using some tree-free paper towels. They're made from bamboo. I will link those below too, also from Public Goods. And then this little toilet brush came in this RV. And it's okay, it works okay. There is a thing with, when you're in an RV, it's a plastic toilet, so it holds onto smells. Not my favorite, so we have to clean this pretty often. And it really starts smelling pretty fast and I am using the foot pedal. If you've never been in an RV, you have to use a foot pedal to get water to come in and to get the hole to open to let all the waste go out. So this room is kind of hard to work in. I have to pull everything out if I want to sweep in there and if I really want room to get in there and work. I'm trying to wipe down the little, this little garbage came in the RV and look how dirty it was. And the little spray and like the wipes came in the RV too, which I kept them in there. And we don't even actually use them that much, but they're in here so I didn't want to waste them. I feel like every time I get these towels perfect, my kitten comes by and plays with them and makes them fall down. So I had to come by again and fix the towels. She likes to watch me sleep. So this area is something that was really struggling for a while. We were having to use heater because it gets cold in here and I decided to move our vitamins over here onto a little stand and so it's very confusing when you're living in Florida and it's the winter time because we need a fan in there because it gets hot but we also need a heater in there because it gets cold. So that makes sense, right? But I actually decided to take the heater at this time and put it in our storage. Up here there was so much junk. It's stuff I was using pretty often, like in bed, but I was gonna grab it from here, I move it all over to the bed, and then I go through it and put it in its rightful place. And then this turns into a lot more practical of a little space. It's kind of like our side table, kind of, because we don't have any side tables in here. So we use, it turns into kind of a trash area of overflow, but also I use it for books and stuff. And yeah, that too much stuff was in that little cubby. I don't even know how we got that all to fit in there. So now I'm putting back all the books that we're reading and our devotion, devotional books and our Bibles and stuff. And it looks so much better in here. Here I am organizing my jewelry that was up there. That was, it was becoming a landing place for my jewelry I was wearing. And as you can see, I have a horrible storage system set up for my jewelry. This is like really good fair trade handmade jewelry that it's actually, some of it is breaking and tarnishing and stuff because I'm keeping it in these horrible bags. And that is literally because when we moved to Honduras and moved back 
I never took them out of the bags and since moving into here I still haven't taken them out. I just keep saying once I get a bigger closet or a better organization system or something. So I'm really wanting to change how I'm organizing my jewelry. It's definitely not practical and it's hard for me to find jewelry and it's just a struggle every single day. So here I am back in the kitchen going for round two of doing the dishes because the dishes have piled up again after one day. So I'm trying to put all those away so I can start fresh and then do the dishes again because we're trying to get the house literally spotless so we can do a tour. As you can see in the background, we actually didn't include this footage in our RV reno, but that was one of our very last projects was Luke putting in that little gold hook. So he's in the background trying to figure out how to make that work. And then um, hooked to the oven, you can see the little curtain that we ended up putting in for the litter box. We hung it there for a little bit just to like see if it would hang good. So here I am, I'm actually giving our sink a deep clean for the first time ever and I'm washing it first after having all the dishes done and then I'm going to take a magic eraser to it which I just so happen to have and it makes such a difference. There was some dishes in there that had like stained it because it's plastic sink and I thought it would never come clean but you know magic erasers they are legit magic so I went in and cleaned it with a magic eraser and it made such a difference. Usually my Enviro cloths do really good and even that little disc cloth, but this magic eraser really did the trick. So since I had the magic eraser out, I decided to do some spots that had gotten a little bit dirty. This is the trade-off when you paint things white that they get dirty a little faster, but a magic eraser took care of that so easily. And then here in the bathroom, we use a clay-based toothpaste and it definitely builds up in our sink and just kind of gets on stuff around the sink and stuff too. So every once in a while, our sink really needs a good clean, a good scrubbing, honestly. So I'm going in and I'm gonna scrub the sink and it makes such a difference. This sticker is annoying me, so I'm letting some goo gone sit on it and then I'm gonna scrub that off. And now it looks so much better. Here I am, back of the dishes, finally putting them away, they're dry, and I'm actually going to take this stinking dish rack off for the first time in a long time and get these counters all the way clean.
So now I'm back the next day. It is Sunday, so we've already done our tour at that point, but I had the laundry in the laundry room and I think we actually got the bag and left it in our car so that it wouldn't be in the house when we did the tour. As I said in our tour video, I'm impressed with how much storage this RV has for clothing. This is the most storage we've ever had in an RV. We lived in one before this and we mostly only had under the bed storage before. I actually don't use under the bed storage at all in this one. I'm able to use the closets, which we pack probably too full because we have had some mold problems in there before because we have so many clothes in there, but everything fits in our drawers and stuff and it works. Okay, now Luke's gonna wash the outside and this is what we're using in case anyone asks. Someone gave it to us actually. So this is super satisfying. He is taking this and he's gonna rub it off and oh, it's gonna look so good once it's done. So he decided to give the outside of our RV a bath and it looks so nice. Look at the difference. This is where we're gonna end. He's gonna wash one little section also underneath the RV, but this is about it where we're gonna end with our video. If you would like to see a tour of the fully clean RV for the sake of time, I'm not gonna put all the videos here of it all clean and stuff, but you can go check that out at our RV video, our RV tour video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this cleaning video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a lot different than the type of stuff we do, but we thought a clean with me would be kind of fun in our RV. So if you like this video, be sure to give us a like. That would help us out so much and let us know down in the comments below what you thought of it, if you thought this was kind of fun to watch, if you'd be interested in us doing some more clean with me's and be sure to go head to our channel and subscribe we'd love for you to subscribe so you can check out our other rv content and any future content coming up with renovation and cleaning and things around the house we would love to share those with you so thank you so much for tuning in and watching bye